Aloha everybody, this is Gabe from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. It's about 7.30 at night, we're looking at Fisher 8, and I want to show you a pulse. This is a pulse, there's a lot of lava coming out. Right, let's see if we can get in there. Wow. Okay, it's really foggy right now. But you can see there's just so much lava. Or you can barely see, but anywho, look at this, wow, there's a lot of lava coming out, wow, we're witnessing a pulse, so much lava, wow, and so we're looking at Fisher 8, right here, and this is the mouth of the river, river of lava, and there's a lot of lava coming out of there. And what I've noticed is there's a lot of SO2 that's released, especially from this plume right here, right? And this area right in here. And then after it clears, there's a large amount of lava coming out of the river, or coming out of the fissure. Look at that. That's a lot. Now it's starting to die down a little bit. And so we just witnessed the pulse. Look at that. Now it's just dying down a little bit. See? That was a pulse of lava. Now, USGS has said that Fisher 8 has dropped to 120 feet. The cone has dropped to 120 feet. It used to be 180 a few days ago. And they measured with a drone, because they can't get too close, they measured the height and then they measured the speed of the lava. And they were saying at the time they measured it, it was going 13 to 16 miles an hour. But I think with the pulse, I mean, it's got to be that top. 16 miles an hour and then it slows down I'm, I'm imagining that pulse was a little bit faster than 16 miles an hour 16 miles an hour maybe 20 but now this looks like you know 13 miles an hour or something like that see we just witnessed the pulse it just died down so like I was saying the cinder cone has dropped. You can't really see it. There's lots of fog right now. But that was a lot of lava coming out of there. And now the SO2 is you know, starting to fill up the air. And it's getting ready for another pulse. I'll give you a shot of the river of lava. It's beautiful, it's like uh, city lights sparkling in the distance. Hawaii has the most beautiful natural disaster in the United States. We've got tsunamis, we've got earthquakes, we've got tidal waves, we've got uh, hurricanes, tropical storms, all that stuff. But we got lava. And I think that's the most beautiful natural disaster. Of course, it's probably the most destructive because your house gets burnt down and then covered in you know, up to 50 feet of lava, you know, sometimes more. So you're not going back to it and it's nowhere near the same. A flood. A hurricane, you know, even an earthquake comes in, does damage, but it's fairly easy to repair. But when you got something like this, you know, there's somebody's house under this fissure. There's somebody's house, a bunch of houses under this river of lava. And there could be easily be 50 to 100 feet of lava that's built up. 
so you're not getting back to your house. So it is raging right now. Another pulse just happened. And I think it is connected with the release of volcanic gases. Volcanic gases get released and there's more more uh, more volume of lava coming out. So that pulse probably only lasted uh, or the, the lull in the pulse only lasted a few minutes and then it's back up. So last video I was saying and I observed that it was lasting for about five minutes, maybe ten minutes, and then it would die down for about five, ten minutes. I, w I would say more like five minutes, and then it would come back up. And there would be a pulse of lava. It's different than the surge. The surge happens when there's a collapse at Kilauea, the summit. And about two hours later, there would be a surge of lava. Now I tried to capture that last time, and there, uh, and I didn't see any. Uh, there, there wasn't a surge when I was here. Maybe I had missed it, or maybe I didn't wait long enough. And who knows? I mean, it's maybe I saw it and I didn't recognize it. I'm not sure. But I know there's definitely a pulse. I've seen the pulse multiple times, and that's why I'm kind of filming this video to just make sure that, you know, you test it and test the theory. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's died down now. So this pulse is probably around three to four minutes, maybe. Every three to four minutes, and then it lasts for about three minutes. And then it dies down. It's kind of interesting. Just want to study this, check it out. This is my neighborhood. I grew up in this neighborhood. Beautiful night, we got the plume, Fisher 8, and it might rain tonight, so I think I better get home. And we're roughly about a half mile from, maybe a little bit more, about a half mile, or a little bit more from Fisher 8. And it was pretty voggy today, but I got my gas mask. I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I'm gonna thank all our first responders. We had a tragedy yesterday. We lost a police officer. He was shot and killed by a uh, scumbag. And I wanna thank the fire department. I'm gonna thank civil defense. I'm gonna thank the volunteers at the hub. I want to thank the World Kitchen, they've been feeding me, it's been awesome, and I want to thank everyone that's donated, I want to thank you all for watching, uh, I want to thank you for your thoughts and prayers in this time of disaster, and if you like this video, drop a like, if you want further content, hit the bell symbol, and subscribe, I love all your comments. I try to answer all the questions and at least uh, heart the, the comment. And if I give you a short, quick uh, answer, it's because I just got so many questions that I'm trying to answer and trying to make it as quick as possible and give a give a um, you know quick answer to a question. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Until next time. Ahoo ho Aloha. Booyah.